camera and turn it on. So here we go. We'll just start over a little bit here. We're live from Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is SV Seeker. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, I'm going to show you around a little things uh, that we've got going on, and you're welcome to chime in with comments because we do get a lot of help from you guys. Um, it's, you know, things on the tender and things on the main mast. Uh, we're a Chinese junk rig boat, if you don't know that about us. And I was showing off this. This is our, my, uh, uh, my, uh, my, the, the thing I just loved that I, every once, you know, you get a lot of joy from buying stuff every once in a while. Fortunately for me, it doesn't have to be a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or anything like that. I am tickled to death to have a $30, $35 tractor seat custom with Oklahoma across the back of it, because we are in Tulsa. And uh, it's, I don't know. Let me see. I think we're good. I Maybe see. It's a different one. Yeah, you're, it's because you opened a different one. Okay, all right. I mean, I'm trying to figure out how to get this. All right. How to tell these people where you are, but holy oh, smoke, I'm having a hard time. We're doing this live on YouTube today. This is our first time working with YouTube, and so what we did is we scheduled one of these things. And I don't know how to start up on the scheduled one, so I just started a new one, I think, is what it did. It didn't automatically think, oh, we should tie these together, so. Yeah. Can you turn the volume down there? I, I just did. Okay, cool. I'm yeah, Betsy's stressing over there, but she'll get it. So what we've been working on last weekend, and the guys are out there, you can hear them working on this weekend, is uh, these are mast heads. <laughs> Go get them, Tika. I bet that's Dave. Dave said he was going to come over this morning, too. Uh, and a masthead is the gadget that goes on the top of the mast, which hoists the sails up. And I'll explain this one a little bit. It's upside down. But our main mast is that big around, and we've got a flange on our main mast. And so we're going to use six bolts, half-inch bolts, to tie this puppy onto the top of the mast. And then this is where a block, um, a block is just like a pulley. Uh, locks onto it with a, I don't know, some sort of wiener. We're going to round that hole out a little bit still today. But that'll hang down below there and hoist our sails up. And on uh, junk rigs, what's interesting is this has a front and a back. So if that's the boat going that direction, the, um, the mass, the, the, all the sails on a junk rig, they're either to the starboard side or to the port side of the, the, uh, the mast. And this, the main mast, this one, they're over on the starboard side. So this thing gets angled off like that. And then we're going to add on two more plates out here. And there's going to be a pulley mounts in this hole, or mounts on an axle that goes through that hole. And the line's going to go through this hole across. We're going to cut another hole on the other side, do the same rig over there. So we have two lines coming up, going through pulleys across and back down through pulleys. Those won't be for uh, hauling the, the sail up because they don't allow that swing and pivot that a block does. But they'll be great for an emergency uh, halyard. A halyard is just a line that pulls the main sail up. And it'll be good for, um, uh, you know, running up. What's it called? A budgie? Burgie. Burgie. A burgie. I'm yeah. going to say it wrong and they're all going to correct me again, so just... It's not burgy either? You know, it's it's just yeah. pull up your big girl panties and deal with it. Yeah, we don't know the words for everything. It's so. a yacht club flag thing. Yeah, there you go. Yacht club flag thing. Whether it's a burgy or a burgy, tomato, tomato, potato, yeah. potato. Robinson here. or Robinson? What was I yeah. saying? Robertson. Robertson's, yeah. Yeah. You Canadians, okay. Where is my square head today? I don't, we don't have any, oh, you don't have your square head? No, I'm so that's, head that piece right there goes on top of the main, on the main mass on top of that. And then on top of this, or off to the side of it, we're going to mount that. So that's going to be our crow's nest. That's the plan. All right. Hey, can we stop for a minute? <clears throat> yeah. These people are really yapping a lot. All right. We got a question or two? Um, yeah. Um, hello to everybody. Howdy. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of you here. Katie and Brett are back in England. Hi, Katie. Hi, Brett. Oh, hi, Katie and Brett. Um, how does it feel to see a boat in your front yard every day when you walk up the door? Oh, that's, that's a good question. Um, you know what? Just short and sweet. Short and sweet. Short and sweet is I have, I first had a tattoo on my arm, if you haven't seen my, my ink. And I got this for my 30th uh, anniversary um, with my ex. She has a matching one, unless she's had it removed now. <laughs> but mine is a, uh, is a Chinese junk upside down. Okay, so it goes like this. And I love seeing that every day because it's inspirational. Seeing a boat in your front yard, inspirational. So if you don't have something that you want, 
uh, sitting in front of you that you see every morning, I highly recommend that. I got posters in my house, Chinese junks. I got a map on the wall in my cube at the office, uh, the map of the world, you know, because I'm trying to learn a little geography now. I'm going to actually use geography. So I highly recommend that. Get something that you that will remind you what you want to be doing every day. It's inspirational. Oh, crap. What? Well, it's, we're stuck on this view of the batteries. Are we? And I'm trying to get off of it, and now I've got the nightmare before Christmas. Oh, look, you got the little sheet. You're running a video. You know, we should really test these things. People say that basically the signal is crap. Some oh. have sound and no video. Well. We need to lower the rate. I mean, come on. Yeah, we haven't found how to lower the rate yet, but we will. We know those things. Actually, I didn't see a way on the phone to do that, and we did test it yesterday. We're still just looking at those batteries. What's your phone doing? Let's uh, see, phone. <clears throat> well, look at the phone. Phone is just looking at the batteries. That's your problem. Somehow we're just looking at the batteries. Yeah, phone's gone. Let me see if I can do something here at phone. We've got the other video we'll put up anyway. So we'll try that. Sorry, folks, if you're just getting audio, we'll put the video up later. We always shoot with a real camera beside the, the other one. But we are making progress on our batteries. And uh, much obliged to Matthew, who's helping us with that. And, uh, yeah, nice batteries. The, um, so what we've done is we've um, increased the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the what do you call it, the specific gravity for the uh, potassium hydroxide. And we also added some uh, lithium hydroxide to them on this last test. And these have now been charged, at least a, nine of them have been charged up here to um, uh, 24 hours. And we're doing a slow drain on them. And that's what those little light bulbs are there for. Can, is there a way, I mean, is, it, is anybody familiar with doing these, these live YouTube things? And can we change that speed? I mean, if, if With we go to your page, can I change, or does it have to be done... I didn't even see anywhere on the uh, the on the uh, the page to do it. I mean, I'm almost I'm almost thinking let's start again because okay, we can try that. This is this is kind of good. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna experiment. If you don't like us experimenting, what well, before we go online? Hey, that's tough. That's pretty much how we build a boat. So just go away. Uh, you know, no hard feelings here. We learn and we do it online. That's kind of what our channel's about. You know what? You're just looking at it, right? Are you on that control page? I'm on mine. I'm not on you. All right, kill that. All right, and that'll save us that bandwidth. And then I'm going to go to here. I don't think my bandwidth is the problem. Oh, yeah, I think bandwidth is definitely the problem. With that well, other I mean, video. I don't think I'm taking that much, but if I can't read it... It doesn't matter, right? Okay. I mean, so see, it's live stream, it says offline. So we that's went. That's your original one. Yeah, we went dead. Now that was the one, that was the one you, where we had it, will start in 14 hours. Okay, but I still want to do it from the phone. I don't want to ever do it from the computer. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to kill this one on my phone. Let me put that down. I'll leave the camera so that anybody else can kind of watch this if you like. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yeah, yeah, in that. Yeah, the phone works fine. This phone doesn't have enough RAM. Is it still on this 5 k or did it, or the, the 2X, or did it's on it the go two, back? It's 2 over here. But I can check that real quick. We'll go there. Um, okay. Settings. I got an airplane mode, so I don't get interrupted. I got. 2x Wi-Fi, it's out here. Okay. okay. Look, I'll even do a speed test because I got one of those things over here. Hmm. I'll do a speed test. Start. We've been having all kinds of problems with our Cox uh, this last actually three months. And uh, okay, download's good, but that doesn't really matter. This is an upload thing. All right. Oh, come on. That's not that. That's, there. That's pretty, pretty good. Testing upload speed, 90% complete. All right. Download is only 2.4, which is horrible. Upload is 
15 or 1.9. It's bad. Now upload is 2.3, which ain't bad. Download is horrible. Okay, well, let's start it up again. Okay, so here we go. Um, we go to. I don't know why you can't start it up there and then it's. No, I haven't tried that. I'm not going to now. It may be that's the way to do it. Maybe start it over there and then jump onto it here somehow. But I don't think so. See, it's uploading the old one that I killed right there. So I go back to, uh, let's see, press the camera, press live, press uh, location seeker, unlisted, it's public. Uh, we'll go SV seeker live. And we'll go uh, more options. I don't think that's necessary. Next. Maybe that's where this, the thing was. No, it's not. I've already looked at it. Taking the thumbnail. Three, two, one. Boom. There's a picture. Go live. See, there's nowhere that it asks you what speed do you want when you do it from your phone. And I actually haven't seen anywhere where it says um, what speed do you want when you do it from your computer either. But they did mention that. Okay. So there's live. Says you're live, and if I go to yeah. here, live streaming oh. events, see, it says there's a control room there. Let me get it where you guys can see this. See, it says you haven't selected a, uh, a rate, but I don't know where to do that. So, if somebody can tell me where to do this ingestion settings page, because there isn't something called an ingestion settings page here, so close that. You know, we scroll all the way down and we say hello. Yeah, okay, there it's working. I see all these comments before it. Okay, hello from Germany. And... Oh, there's Larry Tipton there. So that's what we see is for comments, and this is what I see on my phone. And I hope, and you guys get to see all this because you're, yeah, you'll see this video camera up there. See, let me show you this. See? Yeah, wait a minute. There, there. See that video camera? That's the one that we actually post to YouTube later on because that one has the, it's one of our high resolution cameras. So anyway, that's how we're doing it now. And if you can help us, um, we'd be happy to take your help. If you just want to bitch about it, go somewhere else. I don't need people to bitch. Nobody needs that. I heard a cool thing the other day. It's like, uh, you know, he's like, you tired of people bitching at you at work? Then be careful how you treat them at work. You know, everybody, nobody likes to be bitched at or criticized. So if you, you um, tired of it yourself, kind of watch what you're saying out of your own mouth, you know? How long is Seeker? It's 74 feet. Okay. 65 feet at the water line. Let's show them something other than your nose. Okay, but my nose is so handsome. Have you seen what I'm wearing today? This really is nice. I have seen what you're wearing today. Look these, at, they did is, a really nice job on our logo on this thing. These are our new um, <clears throat> hooded sweatshirts. Um, we have them from um, adult small to 4X. Not a lot of 4X. Yeah, we sold out of the 5, 5X. But um, they're in the store. And of course, we have these lovely mugs. Yeah, all right. And... What are you wearing on your head? The mug of happiness. You're wearing one of our beanies. A nice still shot for the, the beanie. The official seeker beanie. Let me wait for it to refresh. There, there it is, the beanie. And the I have Lego on. kits. It's actually, it's kind of hot in here for this now, but it was nice Who this morning. Who wants a seeker mug? I want a seeker <sighs> mug. Who wants a seeker mug? I do, I do, Bits I do. Bessie was in theater, if you didn't notice. Okay, I was talking about batteries before. And we spin around. I know the whole video gets horrible when I spin. Those are the batteries. Okay, you saw that because it froze up on the last time we did this. But uh, we're coming along on them. I like them. We're, we're now doing a, those little light bulbs there are pulling about 1.2 amps. And we're draining them and measuring them every four hours because that's what Matthew wanted. So yes, I have lost some sleep last night. But it's kind of like, you know, being on a sailboat, a four hour shift. I just had to get up and measure them. The, um, and what we do is for each cell, we jot down the voltage and the specific gravity. So we've come out plus 12 hours now as those last two columns of numbers there. And uh, they're looking pretty good. And after this, once they decide that the chemistry is right, that we have the right amount of um, potassium hydroxide and lithium hydroxide 
in these batteries, then what we're going to do is we're going to hook the welder up to them and we're going to charge them with our Miller welder out there. Put a lot of power through them, make the electrolyte boil, um, and try and clean the plates up. But they want to be real certain about what kind of batteries they think these are supposed to be. You know, because we really don't know what the amp hours or the voltage is. It's kind of a guess at this moment. So anyway, that's where we are there. Um, and I'm eternally grateful to uh, Matthew and um, Alpine Power Systems Company he works for. They got a good employee there. Uh, yeah, show that to your boss, Matthew. And thank you very much. Who's, who's, who's Kynes? I don't know. Is it knees, 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 knees? You sent us a box of rags as we asked for. Oh, my God. I am so happy. These are lovely rags. I have not had the rags this clean in my shop. Oh. oh these Ooh. these look like they got stolen out of a hotel. I and like a couple that. of oh, books. books. Oh, look. He writes books. Stephen. Stephen, you write books? Wow. Cool. Nice. Are those on Amazon? They look like they're on Amazon. It looks like... I, oh, look at that. I'm guessing they're probably on Amazon. Bobby is training to be a fighter pilot. His best friend Jimmy also exhausted. Him. Uh, I think these are these are. Yeah. I, I don't see that he sent me anything. Like. <laughs> you got anyway, nothing. Nothing the, for you. The rag, the this coal tar project. Yeah, it's been wiping out rags. Absolutely killed the rag supply. So if you have any old bath towels, I mean I don't want those soft little bed sheet things, but um, bath towels. You know, nice, thirsty rags. Yeah, ones, you know? ones that aren't protected with so much oil that they just, like a duck's back. It's, you know, I, I'm, I'm extremely happy to see them. Good. Thank you. Did you show them your mask thingy? A, ga a gas thingy? Mast. Little duber. Oh, yeah, I, I showed them the mast things. It's on the other video, so I'm not going to repeat it all on this one. Oh. We're working on mast heads. That's what these guys out here are doing. So let me show you up. Wow, look how bright it is. All right, you guys got to stop making noise for a little bit. Hey, good morning, David. Good morning. How you doing? Wonderful. Yeah? Is Dave with you? Uh, I think he's going to be here in a little bit. Is that right? And you all know Greg. And where'd Bart go? Bart wandered off. Okay. So what they're doing, oh, we're working on grinding this thing this morning. This is uh, it's gonna be, this is our Nolan door latch. And we've uh, cut them bigger and made some pads that are easier to hit. So hopefully that'll, that'll be coming along. That's not really what our focus is today. Our focus is, oh, they've already got this ground down. We're welding the, um, this is for the four mast. It's only a um, six inch pipe, I think. And so we'll get these guys welding the flanges onto that. Uh, see, and then the last thing, and, uh, and if you have questions, there he is. <laughs> the last thing that we've been messing around with is the tender. And uh, I can answer and ask a couple of questions about the tender. Um, I've learned that uh, uh, diesel engines are kind of like a religion. Uh, it's, it's hard to get into conversation with like, hey, hey uh, Greg, yeah. what's the best diesel engine in the world? Cummins. See, it's like that, right? Everybody's got these opinions about them. It's like, and if you ask, Bart, what's the best diesel engine you've ever had on your truck? What's the best what? Diesel what's the engine. best engine you've ever had on your truck? Which one? Reefer. Oh, the Yanmar was on all reefers. Would you? Would you? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, Yanmar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And that you think that's the the best diesel engine out there? No. No? What's the best diesel engine out there? Well, it's the longest lasting because uh -huh. their hours of service are just, you know, yeah, thousands and thousands of hours. Yeah. See, it's, and people know that, so they you want a Yanmar on your boat. David, you got an opinion about diesel engines? That best diesel engine is the one that's running. <laughs> David and I agree about diesel engines. I'm not a diesel. You're not a diesel guy? I'm not a diesel yeah, Stephen Cox is coming up here. He's yeah, a diesel keep guy. Clean is all I know. What's that? Yeah, keep the, keep the filter clean. clean. Yeah. They're nasty and messy. It's like Stephen said, that they, they need they need they need compression. Uh what he said, they need they need uh, uh um shit, what is it? What was it? It was compression and fuel. And that's it. You give them those two things, they run. That's why I love diesel too. So you're already talking about it. You know, you just get a diesel engine, you're already talking about an engine that's fantastic. So the thing is, um, we can't, we're looking for something. We got a BW engine out there. Here's one of my first questions. And I know some of you, especially you Europeans, you guys mod those, uh, those Volkswagen engines all the time, apparently. So what we have is a 1.9 AAZ VW diesel turbo. And, uh, 
It's only puts out like 65 horsepower, but I know, there's Dave, I know it can be cranked up, you know, by changing the, the, uh, the, the injectors or the pump or both or whatever. I'm not interested in learning, you know, doing all the research. So if you've already done that, if you're the guy that's already made the modifications to that, but that engine, then let me know what you did and just give us, here's the part you need and this is the part you need. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that. And then Stephen Cox, I hope, is coming back up here. Um, I think we're going to try to get Stephen up in February. We were talking about April, but I think we're going to move it up. Stephen, I'll, I'll let you know about that. And then Chucky, we want Chucky to 2009. He wanted to come up. He and, he and Stephen have been doing a lot of things together, too. And I just love Chucky 2009 uh, when he's not trying to sell me a welder, which I'll forgive him for. He, you know, he was, he's a... Uh, I've been watching that kid since he was, God, your age. How old are you? 18. Yeah, I think he started off like 18, 17 in a shop with a welder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's so cute because it's like, you know, my mom bought me a, a welding hood for Christmas, so I'm going to go out and try it and do a review on it, you know. So, And he is he is really, you know, he, he to me, embodies Americana because he, from 18 now, he's got, a, you know, I don't know how many welding shops he's had, but he's, he's got a beautiful little welding shop. He's happy doing stuff. He's making a great uh, uh, service on YouTube, showing people. And he, he's branched out, which is what I love, too. He's doing all kinds of things now. He's not, not just, you know, burning rod anymore. He's fixing stuff and breaking stuff and, and showing other things. So he's a, he's a good YouTube channel if you, if you, uh, if you, if you got tired of Chucky's, uh, you know, welding, 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 then go back and take a look at him and again now because he's doing a lot of other things too. And man, does he put out like a video or two every week or one a day or something like that? He's trying to do one a day. Yeah, it's insane. I you would, know, you I will never do that. To these people, yeah. why you bother to build a model because they don't, oh. they just don't seem to understand it. I did. Some do, but some are just, they just think. They don't get the model? I don't think they really understand how many. How many models you built for that boat? Oh yeah. And and how many times you've you mucked with this thing before you ever cut into the big pieces? Oh yeah. I don't think they realize that. I, I, I think they think it's a I, toy. I believe in models. So um, only way to go. It makes perfect sense. Well, I even car guys do it. Your Tell car them guy. How many you they did start off the with boats. clay, you know. And then they start, and when you do a modification on a car, you always do it with cardboard or something else first. You can test it in a scale. Yeah. And you can go back, and you know when you're putting it together, try and get this cable out of my face. When you're putting it together, you know where the hard spots are going to be. Like I did at least a dozen models of the big boat out there. And pulling it together in sheet metal, it'll give you the same problems on a much smaller scale in sheet metal. That it, and when I did the big one, it's like I had a problem up there in the bow. I knew exactly where I was going to have difficulties. And sure enough, that's where we had difficulties. And I had to do a little trimming and bring it together. You know, that's the part that was finicky. So you know where to start to put the hull together and, and how it goes. And this one's been fantastic because when I talk about it with, uh, with uh, uh, Doug uh, Westover, he's the guy helping with the hull. And what did we, he, this is not called a delta pad. Some people call it a delta keel. Uh, somebody informed me of that. They're right. There's a lot of hits on delta keels. So we're going to put a delta keel in. And then somebody else saw that this was completely flat. And they said that hey, you need to put a, that as an angle so that on the because he thinks that the water's going to hit this and slam into it, and it sure could. You know, kind of like the same thing of a catamaran where it has the slon deck between the two holes. So he, he's thinking about putting a, he talked about making this angle down. And I think we'll build it like this, but we can always come back and do that. So models are great things if you have a, if you don't do one. And then we also did a buoyancy test. Go back and look at the first video. It's called Diesel Jet Boat, part one. We put this thing in the water because it's scale. And we put weight in it, and we know exactly where the water line is going to come on the real one because we know where the water line comes on this one, given how many you know hundreds of pounds we put into the thing. So I love models. Victor so, wants to know what's your experience of life at sea? None. Victor, I have never been at sea. I have. I angle. have. I have. Betsy has. It rolls water away from the boat instead of coming in. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what he's thinking when it hits the wave. I've ever seen that has got some angle to it to help roll the water. Yeah, and that's what he was talking about, to shoot the water out to the side. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, it does. Well, it'll stiffen the snot out of those flat plates, too. Now, the question is, is the water going to get that high up? I think maybe when cutting through a front wave. You never know. What's the expected yeah. lift from the forward chime? Expect? There's no... This, this I know isn't he's talking a, about the boat or the tinder. I no, I think it's the tinder. 
um, this actually isn't a lifting surface. It looks like a chine, but it's actually above the water level. Uh, except when you cut through a wave, and then, yeah, it's going to slam into the water. So we're, that's why we think maybe uh, angle this out a little bit. I think just another piece of metal along here to, to help cut that wave outward. But it's not, a, it's not really a chine. Uh, this would be the chine down here, and we have no, no flat surface on the chine. It just changes angle. Sometimes they put a lifting chime, which means it goes up, flattens out, and then goes up again. When you think you're going to boil the batteries, and will you move them outside to do that? Uh, I don't know. It'll be when Matthew says, okay, we're ready. And no, I'm not going to move them outside to do that. How do these batteries do a shock of vibration? Well, that's why we went to, and Matthew suggested, and some other people on YouTube, that's why we went to using um, the, these things. We went from bus bars, you know, rigid bus bars to cable. So that takes care of them being able to move around a little bit. And actually, these batteries, if you look at the wiki page on them, if you believe wiki, I believe most of it. Um, they're designed for shock and vibration. So these are the shock and vibration battery if you want one. What's up, man? All right, those are good questions. I know this is kind of fun. I mean, we've got people here we normally don't see because. Well, there's a lot more people here because it's YouTube. I know. Well, the Facebook one's a lot more reliable, but maybe we'll figure this out. We'll figure out the YouTube one. You guys can help out with that. So. Um, some people are probably still stuck on the other feed. Yeah, well, so. when it doesn't move after 15 minutes, we'll figure it out. You think? Okay, we got anything else? This, oh yeah, uh, the, the the diesel engine. So I need I need the the diesel engine thing. You got an itch on your back? Yeah. Bart's over there doing the bear thing against the wall. Hi, Jane. Um, so how do you do the a, the 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 one point nine a a z engine up? And just give me the parts. I mean, don't make me so. Oh, just go to this site and read there. I don't want to do that. Don't make me do that. Just tell me. All right. And then I'll buy the parts, and Stephen Cox can come up here and he can stick them in. Maybe we can fire that engine up and get it running. Or we can just take your Cummins out of your truck. How many horsepower you got in that thing? 200, 200, 200 horsepower would be perfect. Okay, I have a lot of questions. Yeah? And that's not tunes, no mods. You didn't mod it at all? Not yet. Why do you, mod, why do you not mod your truck? Um, well... You afraid it will blow it up? No, it's... Most people who mod their trucks do it for excitement. They want to blow that big stack of smoke out the back. I hate that. But you know. No, it's not. I hate that crap. I'm in welding school and I can't afford putting all that money in unspent fuel out the exhaust pipes. Yeah, Greg is a very practical man. He's not going to blow his money on his truck, not until he has finished welding school. Awesome. Okay. What are some questions? Well, I want to warn these people that, you know, if I'm they gonna... get tacky on this... Oh, you get tacky, you're gone, you're okay? Gone. We, have this, we have this firm policy of, I'm not trying to build the biggest YouTube channel in the world. I don't care. I'm trying to build a great group of people on a YouTube channel. So if you get tacky or snotty or pissy or anything like that, you're gone, okay? And you're never coming back. You know, you can just go up and you, you can, every time I post a video, you can come up and you can hit the little thumb down button just as much as you want, okay? That's fine. But you're not going to be part of my life, so we keep it positive. And if you can't do that, I'm sorry. I hope someday you learn, okay, that that's not the way to treat people. It's not the way you want to be treated, so why would you do that? Okay. So I'm not even going to say the questions where people are giving their opinions because, frankly, they're just their opinions. Yeah. And at this well, point, opinions are okay, but we can go back and read those. They're not questions. Um, I'm going to drink tea. Geez. Oh, what's the tender's name? Tinder's name is Love Me. As in? Wait a minute, it's Love Me. No, is that right? <laughs> love Me Tinder. Get it? Love Me Tinder. Elvis Presley. If you're not an Elvis Presley fan, you suck. No, you don't. <laughs> I guess the Tinder plans were dropping by the same guy that did the bone. Bart. <laughs> Bart's, uh, yes, it's the Tinder plans were drawn by Jack Carson. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. You know, I grew up watching Elvis Presley movies. That's about it. Bob wants you to email him the engine info because his Bob, you got our VW for racing. Just tell him what kind of what is it? It's an old motor off of what? It's an old motor off of a VW. It's a, it's a diesel. What year was it? It's 19. It's uh, got to be something older than Bob. 
go to our website. It's svseeker.com. You go to sailboat, and then you run your little mouse down. It says tender. You hit tender. And then anything information I put up about the tender is, is on that page. The videos and specs about the engine and that sort of thing and links and anything that we were thinking about doing. It goes there first. The website's kind of my notes. Okay, here, here's this question reworded. Reworded. Just interested to know about the windage in that front platform, what calculations. <laughs> I am working on a similar project being an expedition dory. Okay, calculations. None. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no calculations whatsoever. Uh, calculations, you know what? Here's the mug. Oh, I've got the neatest thing coming up, and it will be with a Seeker mug promotion. Oh, you guys, you're going to love it when you don't know, what do I get my wife? I have got just the thing coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That or a grinder. That would be a great thing for Valentine's Day. <laughs> get a grinder. No, Give her a grinder that. this year. I don't think so. All right. The, uh, let's see, the, back to the calculations. We don't do calculations. We, it, the, the plans came from Jack. Jack's lived his life on the water. I trust Jack. One of Jack's biggest things is getting from the shore out to his boat through surf. He designed this boat. I'm trusting Jack, okay? I might make some tweaks to it, some little changes, but are there calculations? Jack is an artist first. He paints beautiful paintings along the beach in Mexico and sells them to tourists. And then the rest of his uh, career is based around building origami boats and uh, sailing on his. He built his. He built his in like, oh, it was, it was less than two months. Put the thing together as fast as he could, put it on the water, and uh, got a, because he had a contract to pull gooey ducks for research uh, uh, so they could uh, test the population sam samples for, for the population. So. I want to answer this one. Yeah, you want to answer this one? Because he's not, this guy's not giving up, and I'm going to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Okay. You bit this. You bit this dog in the ass. Okay, so Please it comes ask, back. What tests on that front platform? Well, we put it in the bathtub. We did. We and did we do that. To see where it floated more and where it didn't, and we moved little blocks of heavy weights around on it, and went, "Ooh, that's interesting." Next, once it's built, we're going to put it on this cool little trailer we have now, and we're going to take it to one of the lakes, and we're going to put it in the water. And Doug's going to stand on the front. He's going to jump up and down. That'll and he's going to push things. And he's going to go shallow and deep. <clears throat> and beg little sea dews to go around him really fast. And if that looks okay, okay. Then we'll put it on the back of the big boat. And we'll go to the ocean. And if for some reason it doesn't perform as we want it to, then we will find another boat. So it's, you know, what do you do until you build it? It could be the greatest thing in the world. It could be total crap. But the fact is, if you don't try, you'll never know. Okay, now it's back to them. You didn't hear a word I said. I did. What did I say? You were talking about testing at the lake. And what did I say at the end? That I didn't hear. I told you. That's my life story. Yeah, well. I'll, I'll get it later on the video. I'll watch it. Okay? We done? How many people is it going to take to sail that boat? One. <laughs> that it always just depends on that the That always person. reminds me of that, uh, that, that YouTube thing. Uh, you've probably seen it. Uh, um, why did the front fall off this boat? What's, you know, it's like the, 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 <laughs> what boats. Does the tender have bow thrusters? Yes, they're called oars. Yeah. Paddle, you get up there and you paddle like this, okay? And if we want to go the other way, you do it like this. And that or, you know what? We should get some of those. We should get Jamie to build us some of those little, those little, his little Oh, propellers. yeah, it's Jamie Mansell. The rechargeable batteries. Yeah, he's got his DeWalt thing. He's stuck on his kayak. Phew, man, he goes with that thing. I mean, we could do that, have a couple of those, and we could just, like, stick them over the side. And we just put a Jamie up on the front. And we've got, if you don't know what we're talking about, he's got a YouTube channel. It's Jamie Mansell. I just love the guy. Um... You know why? Because he lives his life uh, like he wants to. And what you care about, how he lives his life, he doesn't care. You know, he just, it, doesn't just, it just doesn't come into his consciousness about what somebody else wants him to do. He does it the way he wants to do it. And uh, that's fantastic. And he's doing some fantastic. You give that man a grinder and a hunk of steel or, or PVC pipe, I think he could make anything, you know. Do we have plans to go over the pond to Europe? Yes, and you know what? I will have a gift shop on board. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, oh, look, I can use one of the new rags for a napkin because I have an ice avalanche. It's, it's, it's pronounced Kniez, I think. What? Kniez. Kniez? Steve, Kniez. Oh, Kniez. 
Man, thank you for the rags. They're going to come in very handy. Like heads, fingers, feet, and nose, and knees. Oh, isn't there a song like that? No, I don't think there's a song Head, like that. Head. Okay. Hands. It's a, it's a kitty song. Let's see, there's another question I have, but I can't remember what it is right now. Tender. The tender is the big thing on my mind. Well, it's on well, your mind, up, too. Tuning up the, uh, the, the Volkswagen engine uh, and getting the parts here so we get Stephen Cox to put them on for us. He knows how to bleed engines, do all that stuff. I don't know if he's ever worked on a Volkswagen engine or he'll be willing to do it or not, but we'll see. No, Jesse, we don't go to the bike race. Why? Because we don't go to the bike race. Oh, at Tulsa Tough? Yes. Are they doing that now? Yeah. No, someone just said the greatest race in the country is in Tulsa. And oh. I'm thinking it's the bike race. Or are you asking about the Chili Bowl? Could be the Chili Bowl. No, a bike race is not... Is the bike race is getting bikes. a lot of attention. Yeah. But... No, we do it, we do it, we build it yeah. up, that's Head, it. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Somebody knows the song? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, guys, we got to get to work. So, uh, appreciate your help, your input, your, your following along. Um, uh, uh, Tinder starts in February. Tinder starts in February. We're going to clean everything in the shop out. Uh, you know, if anybody wants some old paint, so maybe the batteries work. will be outside. Huh? If anybody wants some old paint that doesn't work, you know. Well, I got paint that does work, and paint that doesn't work. So I got a lot. This this table, this whole table here, is held up by paint cans. I paid like I don't remember. It was like seven hundred dollars, and I got tons and tons of paint. And so, no, oh, I'm about to lose a battery here. Let me plug this in. Well, Fernando's very upset about about this tinder. Well, Fernando. He said, how is the VW Don't be upset going about to be it. refrigerated? It's not a marine one. How will refrigeration be done? Oh, he means cool cooling. Everything. Yeah, it's a translation problem. He means cooling. The tender will be cooled through what's called a keel cooler, just like the big boat is, actually. Uh, <clears throat> it's aluminum, right, which conducts heat just wonderfully. So what we're going to do is somewhere, once we put the, uh, the engine back in here somewhere, we're going to have... Um, Generally, what I've done before is I, I weld in channels uh, so that you can run the coolant water along the inside of the hull so it touches the metal of the hull and so it transfers it, the heat right through the aluminum and into the water outside. And it works great. Um, I've done it on, on the submarine, aluminum submarine I built with a big 7.3 diesel Ford IDI. You don't like them, do you? <laughs> so. Uh, I don't. I didn't like it either. It didn't have enough horsepower for what I was trying to do with it. Yeah. Well, I could have tuned that one up too, though. This is anyway. funny. Mm -hmm. Kelly wants to know if we're worried about the major downsize once we move on the boat. Are you kidding? Are you? I am getting more space and I'm getting privacy, the, the which boats, I do not have right now. The boat's roomier than the house. Holy smoke! It's going to be like moving on up to the big side. Yeah. So. I mean, this is like a penthouse. It's a great idea. You know, I read it in a book somewhere. Or actually, no, it was it. I didn't read it. Somebody told me it was in a book. I think it's, I think it may be the Pardee's book, one of theirs. But, you know, the best thing to do, yeah. Oh, you found it. Where was it? Oh, well, that was a shitty place for us to put it. Jeez, we got to figure out a bit. What we're talking about is uh, we need, Greg needs to fill a big gap because my design left a huge gap. So he's got to use a copper backing bar today to, you know, you stick it back behind there. It well doesn't stick the copper. It sucks the heat away too fast. So a big one. So anyway, we found our copper backing bar. You can get to welding. Hey, have we thanked our Patreon supporters lately? We have, but we you can always can. we can always find room to, Tell to them thank how our Patreon wonderful supporters. They are. You're wonderful. You're you're allowing me to retire from my job. Somebody asked what I do for a living. I'm an Oracle database administrator. Actually, I do very little for a living because I'm a, I was a programmer first, and I've written programs to do most of my work at work. I did have a wonderful week this week because I actually had a problem, and it was hard to fix. It was a execution plan. Some of you Oracle guys are geeking out on that, but nobody else will, so I'm not going to I just can't it. imagine you here all the damn time. Yeah, I know. It's going to be fun, isn't it? No! Yeah! I want Betsy, what's for lunch? Betsy needs a she shed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Badly. you got to buy yourself a she shed. Buy myself a she shed. Well, I don't have I don't have all this income to do it for you. You still have income. You just need a box out in the backyard, window, toilet, some, some frilly or laces. I don't need a bathroom. No. Well, I, I don't need plumbing. I just need we a may, door with a lock. We may do that. Some window shades. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was, there was a question I was starting to answer. I forgot what it was. I don't know. I could ask more about the Tinder because the guy's really, he wants you to put something on there and make that little model go fast. Look, 
No, the I'm not going to. The is only five feet long. How <laughs> fast? Do We're you not going to put a go? motor on the on the model. Okay. That what did I say? Somebody asked me to do that on Facebook the other day. I said that would be cute. We don't do cute. Okay, we do real. So we've got the model, we got what the information we need, we know what we're building now, so we're off to building it. Now, people don't understand, why should you join our Facebook group? You, you shouldn't. If yes, you, don't, you should. If, don't, if you have to ask yourself why, then don't. Oh, it's really fun. The people are very nice. We usually put things on there that, that you may or may not see on YouTube. We do. We put a lot of conversation on Facebook that you don't see on YouTube. Um, so if you're interested in yeah. helping us, you know, with suggestions and whatever. But if, if you can't be that's polite, you and if, if be. you don't have a sense of humor and you can't take a, a, a joke and you can't be kind to other people or keep your mouth shut, you, you do not want to be on our Facebook group because I'm just going to throw you off. So save me the time. And okay? if you have some fake name and no picture and whatever. Yeah, it's like, don't, don't, tr don't even try to join us on Facebook because you know what? You got to look like a human first, okay? Yeah. If you have a picture of your dog up and you try and join, it's probably not going to work, okay? If you got like five friends and you're a member of 600 groups, it's not going to work, okay? Um, so we are, uh, we're trying to pick human beings out of, of, of the mix that want to join, not, not just people who Oh, want and to finally, my follow. little sideline thing that I'm working on, behind the scenes that, you know, I'm Sales? really... No, 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 no. You know, we've talked about there's a lot of talented people out there. We've got a lot of people that are up off the couch now. Fantastic. And they're wow. making some really cool stuff. And I, I, I am interested in selling some ideas, some of the items on the store, at least to help you get started um, in developing a store, an online store of your own. And you talked to Betsy about that. Um, so there's, you know, we're going to have some pins, we're going to have cookie cutters, we're going to have, um, of course, our dragon eggs are going to go into that category. Oh, um, you, may, you said dragon eggs. Yes, <sighs> you know. The only item I have no friggin' control over. So do I have enough dragon eggs? No. 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 But Won't we're we still working on pastel for ones for Easter? I doubt it. No. Won't be in here. Oh. The press won't be ready in time. But anyway, so if, if there's something you make that you think our public would like, um, yeah. you know, we can help you get started. And, and, of course, we'll take a cut in the first round. But once you get your own thing, we'll just kind of help support you in that. So yep. um, let people know mind. where they can find you. Yep. So through, you can set your store up and ask Send me a sample and we'll talk. Okay. 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 Okay, we're okay. done. Would we sing our song again? No. Who wants a secret mug? No. I want a secret mug. Who wants a secret mug? I do. I do. I do. Okay, there it is. You got to see that. What'd you make today? Get out there and get busy. We are. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. Love you.